Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we take a look inside a box of Tamiya's 48 scale F16C slash N, the aggressive version. So Richie here from RW Hobbies with another little unboxing. Not a brand new kit, this came out way back in 2009, can you believe it? It's been out a while and it's still a fantastic kit. So a few different flavors of this one. There's an Air National Guard version, I think it's a regular C version, um, Thunderbirds version, which is kind of hard to find, and we got the, um, the aggressive version. Nice one about this kit, which I think we'll see when we open it up, is that it comes with a lot of options. You got both engine types and you got both um, big and small um, intake, the mouth there, the intake basically. Um, so you can do pretty much any version from this. So a good kit to get. And even though it's you know it's a few years old, it's still a really quality kit. I've built, not necessarily this boxing, but the other boxings, I've built probably two or three of these. Now that was being back a few years back when I first got back into the hobby. Um, and so I'm definitely interested to build another one. Now my skill set's increased a little bit over time. So looking over here, let's look and see on the box, beautiful box art, and you can actually see there the, um, the different markings which you get in the box. So you've got this guy, which I'm probably gonna do. And you've got the Navy version. And then you obviously got the box art version as well, this guy. So that's what you got. Um, this kit number is 61106. And being a F-16 is pretty compact aircraft, not massive. Um, that's what you get inside the box. And basically, you can see on this camera here, it's got plenty of plastic. And at the very bottom, we've got decals and our instructions. All right, so let's go for the paperwork first. So we've got a just a little important information, a little disclaimer document there. Um, We've got a big pull out um, again. This is an older kit, so it is in black and white. Unfortunately, I like to see the color call outs in color, but this is black and white and it gives you the um, markings A, B, C, and D. So, looking over here, we've got a is the uh, Block 30 version, and this is the 18th aggressive version of um, Alaska. So this is like your, um, I think your blacks and your grays and your white scheme. You've got the Top Gun Miramar right here, which is like kind of the bluer kind of schemes. C is from um, Nellis Air Force Base, 64th Progressive Squadron, Block 32. I'm thinking that's the one I'm looking to do with the colors. Quick look over here. Again, it's in black and white, so it's kind of hard to see. There's a couple of different versions on here. Um, and this one too. So you've got block 32 or block 42. Um, essentially the same markings, I believe. It's on there, so that's C and D. Again, I wish it was in color. Um, I don't, nowadays they do it. Again, this is 2009, so it's a little bit older um, kit. Instructions. So, got a document here. Nice. It's actually a booklet, not one of these that kind of folds out like a map. So, all our colors up here. And again, you got your different versions here. We got the Block 30, which is A. You got the the Navy six, which is B. You got Block 32C or Block 40, 42D. So, all kinds of choices going on here. Um, as always with these kits, you go start with a cockpit tub, and it's nice because the panels are separate. You can also get plenty of aftermarket for this too, in terms of like Quinter Studios and that kind of stuff. Going on with the main gear bay, and attaches the lower fuselage, and then you bring the upper fuselage to kind of meet up together. A few things you have to drill holes on if you're doing A, C, or D. If you're doing a Navy variant, then you're not going to drill the hole. Looking for nozzles, again, different types, depending which version you're doing. Um, you got the A and B or a CD version right here. 
um, attaching the nozzle, which you're probably going to do at the very end once you paint the whole aircraft. Attaching the wings. Gear and wheels, pretty straightforward, nothing much going on here. Getting a couple of clear parts, which you can obviously gonna add on the very end of the build after you've painted the thing. Um, unless you're gonna use a lot of masking fluid, which I sometimes do. Um, putting all the gear in place, um, air intakes again. So if you've got the, the big mouth or the small mouth, um, it's hard to tell here in the illustration, they look very similar um, without looking at the parts themselves. Um, but if you're doing A, you're gonna go down this side of the page, B, C or D, you're gonna use this type so you know definitely got something for your spares box too so you can have the um the different intake um which obviously left over from which one you're not going to use moving along more assembly main gear and um viper arms and various other things going on tail sorry horizontal stabilizer um going on too the instrument panels going on and seats, multi-piece and a pilot, which is always nice to get. Rarity nowadays you get kits with pilots in, which is um, a shame because it's nice to have the option at least. So you get a pilot figure, um, sits in there or she, and then you're going through, um, looks like you get no canopy mask, but this is a pretty easy. F-16s, you know, it's not too much, too much to kind of mask it up and tape it up. Um, framing going in, if you want to open or close, there's different parts going on here. If you want it um, closed, you can cut these pieces off the back. Two part nose, so maybe a little seam line to take care of. Um, saying here, fill up, fill up using putty. So I'm not sure exactly what's referring to that, maybe a panel. Um, so again, um, you can get a detailed up part set for this. I'm not sure if it's really necessary, but a little photo etch for from Tamiya. Um, and it's shows you where, you know, if you're doing a block 30 or 32, or which version you're doing, tells you where the photo etch goes. Um, onto the ordnance, um, this is an aggressor, so you're gonna have the ACMI pod, which is always also nice to have in your spares box too, if you're not gonna use it on this kit. Um, sidewinders, pylons, Um, an ANO ALQ 188 jamming pod. Again, part of the old aggressor kind of line version you're doing here. Um, attaching pylons, again, following if you're doing A, B, or C, or which variant you're doing, they're all different. Um, I'm gonna adding the pods, and that is pretty much it. So, yeah, a nice kit. Um, and like I said, I've done this, come out to a hobby I did to put together okay. So maybe for a beginner, you know, it's not too out of the rounds. It's Tamiya, so it goes together pretty well. Um, and nice detail as well, as we'll see in a minute. Decals, we've got the usual staple in here. Very tightly packed in a bag. <laughs> and we've got some really nice markings here. Nice color problem at all and we got some more here on this bigger sheet so not a ton of stencils or markings here just pretty actually really no stencils of such I mean there's a few but I mean maybe it's because the aggressive version there's less of them but definitely not like an F14 or an F4 here in terms of stencils let me get these staples out because they're kind of annoying me a little bit here I'm gonna rip my decals. All right. All right, onto the plastic. So we have a pretty full box of one, two, three, four, five, six, about 12 sprues, um, including the clear parts. So, first up, the clear parts we have um, here's all lights and um, a clear canopy. You also get a tinted canopy for front and back. And again, use your reference material, find out, because there's all kinds of combinations. Some have the clear front and it might be a tinted back or, or all tinted, or all clear, or it depends on which version you're doing. So just check in photos and see which what way you're gonna do it. But you do have um, a little bit of wiggle room if you do break a canopy, because technically you have like two, right? So um, yeah, so no problems on them, open those up. Um, there is a sensor seam down both, which I think needs to be taken care of. I'm pretty sure on the F-16, it's been a while since I built one, but I'm pretty sure they shouldn't have a center seam. Um, I like the F-14. Again, check your reference material. First little packet here of sprue. This is gonna be your pods. 
and a useful sprue to have, especially if you build a lot of aggressors like I do. So these things always come in um, handy. So there we go. Looks like probably a nose wheel there too. Pods, some nice detail, and a one piece as well. It's like molded for the um, these guys. This is obviously a two part. All right, first bag, bigger bag coming out. And we've got some polycaps. These are probably made for your weapons and some pins, for your pylons probably. And we've got kind of some of the upper side, which is beautiful detail. With a wash, it's gonna come out beautifully. tiny bit of flash down here so just a little clean up down the um the side this is the um lower panel of the wings i believe there's yeah, this one's a little flashy here and there but nothing too too to be concerned about again beautiful detail the camera can pick it up on here all right next moving up to the lower fuselage and there's another side too the front Again, absolutely beautiful detail. Again, it's just I, it's hard to see on camera. But once that wash goes on, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. No problems at all. And here's your um, panels for your cockpit tub. Okay, here's. The intakes coming in, so let's find the other one in here too. So we have two sprues. So we have sprue Q and we have sprue H. And yeah, they're definitely slightly different on the mouse there, so you can see. Two differences. You get both. So again, you can do both versions. Slightly different. If I put them over top of each other, um, the bottom one's definitely um, rounder and um, a little bit shorter, um, less wide than than the um, the guy in the front. Fan blades also slightly different. Um, you can see to the um, the exhaust nozzle between the two slightly different. So again, handy. Got both in the box, so you can do whichever version you want um, of the F sixteen. And there's yeah. Wheels too, main gear, they're very small. I'm used to building bigger aircraft, 30 second scales. The same 30, 48, so they look kind of tiny, but um, nicely detailed, two piece wheels. Um, yeah, no problem there at all. Look, get a couple of beautiful sprues. Looks like we got a fuel tank and um, as he knows, pedo tube might be better to harness with maybe a metal one. The metal ones of Masters are really cheap, they're like two dollars um, for the metal pedo tubes. Main gear again, nothing to write home about, but again, crispy molded. Injection pins all over here. But I don't think you're going to see any of that. And another nose wheel on here as well. All right, last pack. Two sprues in this one. Pretty much a match pair, apart from you got a D attached to this one. So um, two C's and a D. So this one we can put aside because we have two of these. Um, so we have enough, more wheels on here. So we have quite a few different we have a few different wheels on here too, which is interesting um, in this kit. Two piece got pylons. Again, these are the, um, the more fuel tanks for the wings. I think the one we just saw the center tank. Um, one piece. Ordnance, which is always nice. 
Sidewinders, um, AMRAM, then SEAT. It's always, well, it's worth doing resin seats. I always like doing resin seats, but if you um, had a pilot figure, it's not really worth it. But So if you want to do it with no pilot, then yeah, anyway, there's the seat, you know, reasonable detail. Um, so it's nice to have the cushion separate to paint and your pilot figure, um, which has two types of helmet type too. It has a more than modern one and the um, slightly older. So yeah, the, the different helmets. So your options of helmets, rudder pedals, which are very, you know, you can get an FSC, and there's your pilot figure. Which once again, like we did with the F thirty five recently, not bad looking, um, and it's nice to get one included in the kit. So there we go. That is it? That's the um, Tamiya's F sixteen, a legendary kit. If you build forty eight scale models, definitely this is a um, good one to get. Really, any of the versions. That's like I said, it's four or five different boxings. Came out from about two thousand seven. This one in particular is nice because not only you get cool markings, but you get um, you can build any version out of the box. So, yeah, there you go. Tamiya's F16 and 48 scale. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.